bullpen. This is a small league. These niggas are paying for this shit out their own pocket. When a person backs out, that's a loss that he has to take. And you should understand it because you had backouts. You had backouts. 40 backed out on your card. Remember? I, Danny Myers, I let the Desi spray. When I pull out, he gonna back out with the 40 like this bitch did yesterday. Nigga, do you not rip? Do you not remember? We used to rap it like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. I tell your mama I said hi. Salute to every single one of y'all that watch this, whether religiously or in passing. I always say that because I'm thankful for you. Whether you love us, whether you hate us, it's clear you're still here. So, um, John John Don has a battle rap event, the pandemic this weekend, right? It just happened on Saturday and, uh, he had to deal with a lot to get to this point. I wanna, I wanna, you know what I'm saying? I wanna get you to where it goes, right? Had to deal with no shows. Had to deal with backouts. Had to deal with rebooking people. Had to deal with hotels, flights, venue, rap grid. You know what I'm saying? All of this to put together what I can call one of the top five events of 2023. Maybe five, maybe four of the year, still early, and I'm sure it's gonna be a lot. But to do what he had to do to get what he got, I must salute to him. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The clip black drawn. The Nets is out here bullshitting and losing. I'm sure, yeah, I got my Knicks hat on. Salute to the Knicks, man. I'm from New York, so you know what I'm saying? I represent all of New York. I'm obviously a Nets fan, and I'm going to root for them while they get walked. But the Knicks won, and it matches the color, brother. You know what I'm saying? Don't be hating. Let's get to it. So, John John had to do a lot to make this event go down. I knew my Saturday was going to be busy, you know what I'm saying? So I copped the pay-per-view. Uh, I had, you know, softball with the kids. I had to go through here. I had to go through there. I was running all over the place. So I did get to see about half the card, which was the last half. The Clone versus Av, the Geechee versus uh, Bad News, and Jazz versus Loso. One round battle, right? And I thought all of that I seen was pretty fire, you know what I'm saying? And then I even tapped back in yesterday and seen some of the younger cats, the the Moon versus OG Grizzly and all that. These niggas was going to war. Super Black, uh, you know, Shuni had a battle on there. Like these cash flow Rizzy, these people are working hard to get on in battle rap, right? I get the word and I see John John's tweets about his stream being bootlegged by media. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. You know, I don't be calling all these niggas names. I don't be doing all of that. You know what I'm saying? That's just not what I do this channel here. I do what I do at a high level because I don't get involved with the with the, the shit down there. And I know niggas be talking about me. I hear it. I heard it. And et cetera, et cetera. I even heard niggas one day. He don't deserve to have no 75,000 followers on his channel. Why, 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 just None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm, too, I'm serious, too. I'm talking to him, and you niggas be sensitive, and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone. I like most of y'all. So mad, you know what I'm saying? And niggas, that's compromised. So here's the thing, right? Streaming a bootleg for a bunch of people, that shit's fucked up, period. John John spent a lot of money on his event. A lot of money to get this shit together, a lot of money to get this shit going, and had to deal with a lot of shit like backouts, like Hustle not being there, like Suge not being there and still put together a successful event. And Twerk couldn't even do it, you know what I'm saying? But I don't knock Twerk because it was like mad last minute trying to get him to put together a round, make a flight, do all of this shit, and no time was a lot. So, you know, that's that. But Jazz still came and performed on like five days notice. So, we get to the bootlegging, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas bootlegging his shit, and Jazz responded to it too. Jazz said, what did Jazz say? Jazz said, Niggas bootlegging and charging, holy shit, where's the respect? This is what Jazz said. She's not the only person that commented on this. Shotgun Shield commented on it, said shit was whack. Uh, Twerk commented on it. A lot of battle rappers are commenting on it because they know a lot of their, you know, second halves, a lot of the, the, the future promotions and everything lies in what you can do with the numbers. 
you sell 2,000 streams. Okay, now, okay, I charged you this amount, but you did 3,000 streams, so next time we battle, I gotta do this. Niggas look at it like, oh, it ain't nothing, it's just me and blah, blah, blah. Man, fuck all that. That's not gonna happen, especially media, because the thing is, is media, you get a lot of perks. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're getting a lot of events for free. Niggas be throwing you streams. Shoot, shout out to RBE. I haven't paid for an RBE stream in maybe three or four years. But I do be giving them away. Like, I'll give away a pay-per-view stream or two. I'm gonna probably give away a stream for Divide and Conquer, maybe two. I've given away, I've given them to the fans because I know people are in positions. Now, when it comes to bootlegs, does bootlegging happen? Yes, it does. I made my name watching. I watched bootlegs. The first bootleg, one of the first bootlegs I ever saw was Charlie Clips versus Loaded Lux in a Facebook group. Unbiased review. It's a statue of limitations of past. Salute to Chris. I love everything that you got going on right now, Playboy. The statue of limitations is past. It's like seven years ago. I seen a bootleg in this nigga group. I did. I watched the shit from beginning to end. I did a recap. I talked about it. I was young back then, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. And we've all made mistakes in battle rap. We've all done dumb shit. We've all, it happens. But don't deflect and try to talk about this nigga and talk about that nigga. Like, that shit ain't gonna do nothing. You just accept it and you move on. But to charge people to watch a bootleg is nasty work. Bootlegs is supposed to be just that. I get whole cards sent to me. Whole events. I've had whole events sent to me. And I watch them. And I'll just keep it to myself, you know what I'm saying? If it's somebody close to me, or if I know somebody that's not really in a battle rap culture that wants to see a battle and I got the bootleg, I'll send it to them. I'll send it to them. But never do I ever go on YouTube and fucking show the whole world. Nah, that's just not to do, man. That shit is nasty work. Niggas watch bootlegs every day. Niggas don't charge for bootlegs every day. Sorry, it is what it is. And I don't got no issue with none of these niggas. I don't even be watching niggas. I only do my shit, me and SP, and that be the end of it. But when these topics get thrown and battle rappers start getting involved and people start asking, yo, what's, up, what's your opinion, what's your opinion, what's your opinion, my opinion don't be no opinion. Because I be seeing how niggas be moving, I be seeing how niggas be mad and talking about other niggas who's doing they shit, you know what I'm saying? I've seen this shit before. Now, Debo, you my man. This is why, Debo, this is not it. This is for you. You are, you are a league owner, my nigga. You a league owner. You know what I'm saying? The compromise niggas, they compromise, whatever. You are a league owner. I look at you with the highest regard. You know the shit that people go through. I told you John John purchased a fucking billboard, my nigga. I don't care if you bought the stream, because you could have bought the shit after the motherfuckers caught your ass in there. You could have did it. Who knows? I don't know. When you, I'm not saying when you bought it, I'm not. But for you to be in there with Miss Hustle, who no showed the event, <laughs> it's still in the bootleg stream. My nigga, you gotta take this, so. Yes, sir, this nigga spitting. Damn, nigga. I did see, uh, you know, Qua, Harlem Legend, they was grinding you the fuck up. I seen your angry fan, niggas was grinding you the fuck up last night. But as a league owner, the promotion, you know, so you, uh, so let me just ask this, right? So you okay if you bring Queen in the ring back with niggas just bootlegging your shit everywhere? Are you okay with that? Because, Niggas will make you feel that loss. They will make you, like, see, the thing is, it'd be cool when they do it, but it's a problem when somebody else do it. You know what I'm saying? If niggas took your, lie, your fucking YouTube pay-per-view, can't even say Kings versus Queens, because, you know what I'm saying, I think that's some URL shit now. If niggas took your shit and bootlegged it everywhere, if I took your shit and put it on my YouTube and ran a free watch party for everybody, how would you feel? How would you feel? I seen you call me this morning and I was with the kids and shit, but I figured I'd rather respond and then, you know, we could talk about this shit later. I don't got no issue with you. You still my man, Debo. I don't got no issue with you. I'm from the Bronx just like you are. But you can't sit there as a fucking league owner, a league owner that uses rap grade. This nigga uses rap grade. And, 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 and bootleg a pay-per-view stream, my nigga. That's not going to work. That's not going to fly. Like... Them niggas that do that shit, I, don't, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I'm not here to talk about them niggas. I don't give a fuck about nothing that they doing. You know what I'm saying? But you, as a league owner, my nigga, come on, son. Like, come on, B. You got to know better than that. You have to know better than that. To even be in a position where you could be caught in there watching a bootleg stream. And then niggas is under, these niggas blew magic the fucking stream. They took the product, repackaged it, and sold it as it was their own.
Need a wig. You need a job. I don't want to ever hear these niggas talk about me. I don't don't talk about me. I don't talk about you niggas. Don't talk about me, please. This shit is wild, bro. And like I said, Debo, you a whole league owner, man. You are a whole league owner, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing? So when niggas blue leg your shit, we really shouldn't even hear nothing about it. We should be, you should be cool. You should run a free event and let the whole world see. I understand everybody don't got the pay-per-view. I understand everybody ain't got $45. But that does not mean that, Debo, you need to be part of some Ponzi Robin Hood scheme to steal from John John. And niggas interviewed John John last fucking week. Niggas ain't in <laughs> Big media, I didn't interview that nigga. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no issue with him, but I don't do interviews. You know why I don't do interviews? Because I rather I just rather give you my opinion and that be the end of it. You can't interview a nigga then go take his shit and then try to make it right like, oh, fuck that. Why y'all mad? Why y'all mad? Nigga, it's been 12 hours, my nigga. It ain't even been a day. You niggas will drag shit from other niggas for five years, six years, eight years, ten years. You niggas will talk about shit that's in the past. You mad at niggas talking about y'all shit from 12 hours ago? Get the fuck out of here. That shit is nasty work. But Debo, you my man. And I fuck with you, so that's why you're titled Debo. Come on, man. This ain't it. Nasty work. That's the title. Debo, come on, man. This ain't it. Nasty work. I just made the title up off the top. I was entitled to make the title about the title to take the title. Now, do you feel entitled? Like Debo, league owner, stage manager. What is your title, my nigga? <laughs> like, I, but I fucks with you, but I had to let you know, my nigga. This is not it. Like, like bootlegging pay-per-views. It happens every day. I, I watch bootlegs. I'm not going to say I don't watch bootlegs. I would be a hypocrite to say I don't. I've benefited a lot off of bootlegs. But I don't fucking sell them. I don't promote them. I'm not putting this shit on my Twitter. I'm not putting it on my Instagram and letting the whole world know that they can see and watch and take from a league. Like bullpen. This is a small league. These niggas are paying for this shit out their own pocket. When a person backs out, that's a loss that he has to take. And you should understand it because you had backouts. You had backouts. 40 backed out on your card. Remember? I, Danny Myers, I let the Desi spray. When I pull out, he gonna back out with the 40 like this bitch did yesterday. Nigga, do you not rip? Do you not remember? I'm sorry, my nigga. Do you not remember? You had no shows. You dealt with this shit before. You been through the mud. You been through the struggle. You been through the hustle. Not to get this far and be taken from John John the Don. I'm sorry, my nigga. It's a foul, bro. It's a fucking foul. It's a nasty word. Like, oh, y'all talking about this? More than y'all talking about the event. No, nigga, we recapped the event, nigga. We recapped it. We talked about Av versus, I did. Talked about Av versus Clone. One of the better battles of 2023. Talked about Geechee versus uh, Bad News, Dog Fight, Loso. Yeah, we talked about that. But if the whole community is talking about niggas in the community bootlegging the fucking stream, and the league owners in there. And that's not even it. I heard it was 100 niggas in there. I'm be honest, I heard it was over 100. I don't know. I don't care. I'm not doing the research to figure it out. But it doesn't matter. If it was 50 niggas in the stream and seven of them would have bought the pay-per-view, I'm sure John John would have wanted $45 from seven niggas. He paid for a billboard in Times Square, my nigga. How hard is it? Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Is this? And you know what? I'm, this is the last thing. If I got to tell you why this was wrong, or if I got to be the one, or if niggas got everybody, I'm not saying that, just me. But if the battle rap community and other media have to tell you why this shit is wrong, then it, it ain't for you anyway. The niggas spent money on a fucking billboard in Times Square. Not for niggas to say, okay, you know what, I'm a blue magic and shit and undercut it because that's just what I'm going to do. And then to be like, oh, I gave, we gave him the money already, so it's cool. That doesn't fix the fucking issue. And Debo, man, I like you. You know what I'm saying? I got no issue with you. I'm probably call you back later. I ain't gonna lie. I probably will, cause you know what I'm saying. You my guy, sir. But uh, you, you you did that shit to John John. You said you did it to John John. You disrespected the nigga in public, so public is where we talk about it. Don't say think about it, cause if I get to that point, I already thought about it, nigga. I was already thinking. I was thinking of this shit yesterday. What I was gonna say. I was literally like, mm, I say this. I'm not gonna say that. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. 
But as a league owner who's thrown pay-per-views, booked female battlers, dealt with backouts, dealt with fights, dealt with all of the grind it takes to get to the top of the motherfucking battle rap industry, you should know you don't do that shit to John John and Don. I'm sorry. And niggas do not interview the nigga the same week, say support the nigga event, and then go fucking do that shit. I'm sorry. You don't, your niggas don't have to like me. Your niggas don't have to watch me. But your niggas ain't gonna stop me. So it don't matter. We keep climbing up the ladder. Salute to every single one of y'all out there, but this is my thoughts on the whole situation. Debo, you my man, but the shit is dead 